Hi guys, hope you're doing well. I'm sorry I haven't done a video for a while. I've been mega busy. Um, obviously, we're now in the process of moving. Very exciting. A lot of people asked me, emailed me about the um, place that we were moving to, and it's um, Hoxon um, near I. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Or is it Hoxne? H O X N E. It's a village near I in Suffolk. Um, yeah, very excited. Can't wait. Um, I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos that uh, a very close friend of mine um, was diagnosed with cancer last year and um, he he's now having hospice care because um, just to manage the pain um, because he was struggling to, to get that under control but he has started to, to sort of notice a difference which is great um, but when you hear the words hospice you always think the worst don't you and I was one of those people and he was at pains to tell me that this isn't a place that you go to die necessarily this is a place that you go to continue living and to make living whatever life you've got left as bearable and um, happy as possible and even though he said that to me I said I want to come up and see you because he said if you feel free I've got a really nice room and da -da -da. so um, I drove up there the other day and um, I they told me which room he was in and I walked in and I've checked with him that this is okay to say um, and he says it is I walked in and he was lying on his bed with his feet on the pillow end so the wrong way around in his boxer shorts with a banana in his mouth pretending he was dead <laughs> gallo humor I guess um, and obviously I burst out laughing and then for a second later I thought what if what if he has gone and I really need to remove the banana and dress him or what what anyway he, he started laughing pretty much straight away and the reason I'm saying this is because there's two reasons really the first reason is that he did that just for me to make me feel more comfortable um, which is just shows the type of guy he is quite incredible really um, <clears throat> he he wants to live as long as he can and as he keeps saying tomorrow is never promised and um, it isn't for anybody um, so he was concerned just to get the pain managed and then he can carry on doing as much as he's able to do until he can't do it anymore and I suppose that's the same with everyone in life isn't it you do that until you can't um, so I just wanted to share that story because I was I've got to be honest, and I know he's watching this, but I was scared to go round to this hospice. I, you, you kind of have this preconceived idea, and it was nothing like I imagined it would be. And obviously walking into his really nice room, I have to say, um, and to find him mucking about, pretending, playing dead. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was an incredible day, actually. And Rob, mate, I love you. Keep fighting, and um, I'll see you soon. Um, also, I just want to say thank you again to Trevor that gave me all the bits for um, the Bonneville. I have been busy. I, he gave me a Triumph fly screen, um, a genuine Triumph fly screen, but it was clear. So I bought some, I can't find it now, plastic coat, and I Google how to spray a fly screen. Apparently, spray it inside out, as in the inside, not the outside, which makes sense. And it's come out a treat, I have to say. I've also sprayed the sump guard that um, Trevor gave me because it was um, it wasn't black, and I've sprayed it black. So we're putting on that. We're putting that on this week. So very excited about that. Um, the other news is I'm selling my beloved BMW Z4. Um, it's it just doesn't fit into our future in the country. So that will be going in the next few months. I've just changed the number plates over. So yeah, if anyone's interested in a BMW Z4, you will not find a better one. Anyway, guys, let me spin the camera around and show you the Bonnie. So quickly just show you the sump guard that I've given about four coats. Uh, it's come up brilliant. So we'll fit that. I think I need um, an assistant to help me fit this, but we'll fit that this week. And the Bonnie with its fly screen. Look at that. I need to get the smudges off the front, but it's come up a treat. Really, really pleased with it. Yeah, really pleased. I haven't done the fins yet, 
but I will show you once I've done them because they'll come up lovely I'm sure yeah the Bonneville's not going anywhere obviously when I've got a garage I will have space for bike number two anyone's interested in the beautiful 2007 BMW Z4 55,000 miles send me an email all right guys have a great weekend and ride safe